Giannis signed through this year and next, but after that, not so sure. Sat down with the New York Times to talk about his long-term future in Milwaukee, saying, I would not be the best version of myself if I don't know that everybody's on the same page. Everybody's going for a championship. Everybody's going to sacrifice time away from their family like I do. And if I don't feel that, I'm not signing. Drew, your reaction. Well, look, as a fan, I got to be honest, I, I was excited by it. And nothing against Milwaukee. I don't have anything against the Bucks or anything. But hmm. in the Bay Area, as soon as the story hit the wire, they had stories written in the Bay Area about Giannis coming to the Warriors. And I got to be honest, and you said it, he's got two years left on his deal before yeah. he could opt out. He and Steph, I mean, is that and even 37 possible? 37 year old right, Steph right. Curry. Right, exactly. So, but there's no duo, like, there's no place I'd rather point. see Giannis playing than with Steph Curry. Because I think it'd just be so awesome to see those two together. But that, so as a fan, I was excited about it. But I will say this I don't think Giannis should sign an extension with the Bucs. Giannis Antetokounmpo says he won't sign an extension with the Bucks when he's eligible to do so next month, and he won't sign one until he's comfortable knowing the organization will continue to compete for a championship. Stephen A., your reaction? I love it um, because I think that means it's a possibility that he could end up in a bigger market. <laughs> he is Giannis Antetokounmpo, okay? This brother averaged 31 points, 11.8 rebounds, 5.8 assists last year on 55% shooting. He's only 28 years of age. He turns 29 in December. This dude is something special. He still don't have a great perimeter shot. That's something he needs to work on. But my lord, for the most part, is he unstoppable. And I would love to see him. And he already delivered the championship for Milwaukee. He doesn't owe them anything. It's a great sports town, but damn it, I'm starving for New York to get him. <laughs> so that's where my mind is. I was waiting that, for that part. That, uh, when he said what he said, all I thought about was the Knicks got a chance. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Knicks got a chance. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It, it just started. It's your boy Diddy Knows Ball. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But they didn't did this shit again, bro. It's happening again, bro. The media wants Giannis out of Milwaukee, bro. They want that nigga out of Milwaukee, bro. And I'm tired of that shit, bro. Why the hell do they push these narratives and these agendas every time somebody say anything about their team? They did the same shit with Joel and B. But I, I feel Joel B really wants out of Philly. But I don't know if Giannis really wants out of Milwaukee. I just think he's still just telling them, like, hey, man, y'all need to get that shit together. You know what I'm saying? My peach is getting a little old. We might have to shuffle the deck, make some trades, might have to do some, some shit. You know, he probably even mentioning somebody that's not working hard enough or some shit like that. But first thing you hear in the media, oh, yeah, go to the Warriors. That's what Chris Bussard was saying. Oh, go come to the Knicks. Come to the Knicks. That's what Steve A. saying, bro. That shit be trash, bro. And see, this is this is this is why I feel like the NBA, the NBA has so much potential to be the best sports league in the world, bro. Let me say that again. The NBA has the potential to be the best professional sports league in the world, bro. In the world. Because basketball is so accessible to everybody. And it's like uh, the only thing else you, you'll say is soccer. But the thing is with soccer, they got one demographic around the world that don't buy into soccer. And that's America. Everybody in the, else, everybody else in the world buys into soccer except for America. But you know what America does buy into? Basketball. And the rest of the world is buying into basketball. But the thing that's keeping the NBA from being what it really can be it's all the bullshit, bro. Why the hell can't Giannis stay in Milwaukee, bro? And, and the first thing they go say, oh, well, he don't owe Milwaukee nothing. He don't owe Milwaukee nothing. Say, bro, why he can't stay with his team, bro? They lost in the first round to the Heat because he got hurt and Jimmy Butler exploded. That shit not that shit wouldn't happen again. They lost to the Celtics the year the year before because uh Chris Middleton was hurt. So if you look at the Milwaukee Bucks, bro, they still a really good team, bro. And they still can compete for championship. If the only team that I'm, I'm really hesitant to say that they could beat is the Boston Celtics, and we all know why. But other than that, they could be any other team in the East. And on top of that, they can be any other team in the NBA. 
the Nuggets and the Celtics and the Bucks is like the only teams that I can think of that can really win the championship. The Suns could sneak in there, you know, and then there's a few other teams that's on their bubble, but the Celtics, the Nuggets, and the Bucks. Man. Why the hell is y'all trying to get Giannis out of Milwaukee, bro? It don't make no sense. I understand, but well, I don't know. But Giannis, bro, the thing that motherfucker love about Giannis was he stayed down. He stayed through the criticism. He stayed through all the, oh, he don't do nothing in the playoffs. Oh, that nigga Giannis, he is a playoff choker. Oh, Giannis, he, he great, but he don't get it done. He done went through all that already. Hey, I ain't going to stunt. If he leave Milwaukee, bro, even though he won that championship, I wouldn't look at him the same. I ain't going to look at him negative. But I ain't gonna look at him the same. I'm gonna be like, man, this nigga really could have stayed, bro. That nigga really could stay, bro. Like, there, the roster. I get the roster, bro. But man, y'all can do some shuffling. Y'all can do some things, bro. And and the thing is, when you're a top player like Giannis is, like Jokic is, they, let's keep it a buck. They don't need much, man. You don't need much when you're that great of a player, bro. And I think Jokic and Giannis is so far ahead of the pack when it comes to the best individual talents in basketball. Them niggas don't need much. We just seen what Jokic did. He got his one uh, co-star back and championship immediately. A healthy Bucks team, I could see them running through, just like they did last year before motherfuckers started getting hurt and shit. They could run through the East, man. They could run through the East. And we seen we seen Boston. Granted, they didn't have Porzingis, they didn't have Brogdon, but we seen Boston not be able to fuck with Milwaukee, damn near. Even if they, even when they didn't have Middleton, if they had Middleton, man, I'm pretty sure everybody and their mama would have picked the Bucks to beat uh the Celtics. And I'm just keeping it a buck, bro. Like I just hate it when. They try to get these small market teams, superstars, out of the small markets, bro. I hate that shit, bro. I feel like every team deserves a superstar, bro. That shit is good for the league. That shit good for the fans. That shit is good for everybody. Every team deserves a superstar, bro. Just because the roster is not this, the roster is not. Say, man, you got to build that shit. Now, hold them accountable for building the roster. And I, I think that's what Giannis is doing. But God damn, man. Who? We, we, God damn, bro. I don't basketball is becoming too mercenary. Like that should be man, hoop for hire, bro. I love KD to death, bro. I love KD to death, man. Texas alum, and you know what I'm saying. One of my third, like my third greatest favorite player of all time. One of the greatest scores I've ever seen. But he is hoop for hire, bro. And we all know that LeBron to a certain extent is hoop for hire. That's the reason why when Giannis win a championship, when Jokic win a championship, we like, man. And we we respect it, bro. Because you got to grind that shit out, bro. That's what, what relates to most people, having to grind shit out. Not want, That's why everybody on hard ass, man. He's whining. He's crying. He ain't did shit. He's trying to get, seek an advantage, whether it's financially or a basketball situation, bro. We love Giannis because he fought through it, man. And yes, he got his championship. But if he go somewhere else, he go to New York, he go to Golden State, that shit ain't gonna hit the same. What then if if uh J Man be saying it hit different. It hit different. Jokic winning that championship last year with the Nuggets, with the pieces, his core pieces. It hit different. It hit different. It just is what it is. If Giannis go somewhere else, bro, that shit ain't gonna hit the same, bro. Let's just keep it a buck, man. And then where the hell could he re like realistically go? Where the hell can Giannis realistically go, bro? Like, I'm not bashing Giannis if he do leave. I wouldn't bash him. I'm bashing the media for like trying to push that shit. Like that shit. Oh yeah, man. He don't owe Milwaukee nothing. Oh yeah, Milwaukee, that's a great sports town. But now nah, go to New York. Oh, go to Golden State. Like, damn, my nigga. They couldn't wait for him to say a little something so it could seem like he won out. 
The motherfucking media don't run with that shit, bro. But, man, I don't know, man. I hope Giannis stay on Milwaukee, and I hope they build around him. And I and I don't blame him for holding the, the front office accountable for that. Like, hey, man, I still do want to compete for championships, as he should. He should want to compete for championships. He lost in the first round last year, and the year before that, he lost in the uh, semis. So I'm pretty sure Giannis is like, hey, man, you're going backwards. Because a lot of that is due to hell. A lot of that is due to hell. And uh, I do think the Bucks will be good this year. Now, if they fully healthy and they still fall off, then maybe there's something there. But until then, man, I just hope Giannis sticks it out, bro. I love Giannis in Milwaukee. I love Jokic in Denver. I love SGA and OKC, Luka in Dallas. I love that there's multiple stars on multiple teams, man. Because I do not want to go back to the era of super teams. That's just me. But this is your boy, Diddy Knows Ball. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit, man. And until next time, I'm gone.